Hi, this is Catherine Fruit from Virginia Beach, Virginia. The last time I went to Disney World was before the great unpleasantness, and I've been yearning to go back. A couple of summers ago, I stumbled across the Geekin' on WDW podcast hosted by Curtis Stone and the Traveling Tierras, and boy, have I learned so much from this generous community. I've learned tips and tricks that are going to help me navigate my next trip to Disney World. So, if you want to know the latest and the greatest info for your upcoming Disney World trip, then take a tip from Ariel. Like she says, get ready to know what the people know. Ask them my questions and get some answers. What's a fire and why did it? What's the word? Burn. When's it my turn? Wouldn't I love, love to explore? Sure up above, out of the sea, wish I could be part of that world. Wow, Catherine, that was a fantastic introduction. I love it. What a beautiful voice you have. Hey, Disney World Geeks, Curtis Stone here. Welcome to episode 442 of the Geekin' on Walt Disney World podcast this week. Surprise, we're going to Disney World. Marissa Martin surprises her two kids with a trip, including the Dolphin Resort, Genie Plus experiences, and eating around the world, a scavenger hunt. And I've been having fun chatting with Disney World fans like Marissa for over seven years, getting close to eight years in April. If you're new to the podcast, welcome. I started the podcast with my daughter, Lindsay, talking about our Disney World trips. And then we brought on you geeks to tell your trip stories and our listeners. They are so positive, caring, and generous, creative, and quite talented, apparently, also. <laughs> Great job, Catherine. We do encourage a family atmosphere here on the podcast. Before too long, they were calling me the Podfather, and I continue to bring on you listeners to tell your Disney World stories. We'd love for you to join our geek and family. One way to get involved is to join our private discussion group in Facebook. Search for Geekin' on WDW Family. Look for the group. You'll get a couple of questions. Once you answer those, I'll review them and get you right straight away into the private discussion group. And that's a place where you can share your trip pictures, ask questions about your upcoming trip, and just engage with one of the best groups of Disney World geeks out there on the internet. Also, we're independent Disney authorized travel agents with Fairy Tale Concierge. Fairy Tale Concierge is an authorized Disney Platinum vacation agency. Just email us and Mom and Auntie Judy will get right on it. Book in your room, your dining reservations, get that package all set up for you, answer any of your questions, and take real good care of you as you're planning your next trip to Disney World. Email them at travelintierros at gmail.com and you're for looking for that email anytime. Just check the show notes of the podcast in the app that you're listening to the podcast right now and you'll see their email travelintierros at gmail.com or mine is out there too if you'd like to get in contact with me. All right, it's time to go talking with the Traveling Tierras. <laughs> Hi, Judy. Hi, Mom. Hey, Curtis. Hey, Geeks. Hey, Mom. Hi, Curtis. Hi, Judy. Hi, everybody. It's been a while. Feels like it we haven't done been. it in a month, right? I think we did it right when we got back from Florida, I think. I can't remember. I don't, I think, don't think, so. think so. I think you were sick when you got back. We didn't do it. I we haven't done it in a while. Yeah. But I did I, I did talk about my trip a little bit. I don't remember where the it round was. The table, Judy. You I did thought I did I thought I, I don't remember. <laughs> it's <still> oh. <laughs> I gave you a break. Well, well, one big jumble, right? Yeah. You did a break. Yeah. You've been on vacation. Well, yes, yeah, sort of. <laughs> back. It's time to get back to work. I know. Yes, it is. <laughs> well, you know, the big thing I've been seeing now that it's March of 2022 
is Star Cruiser. We've got a client. I'm not sure. Can you say who the client is that we've been working well, with? I think everybody knows. I think, um, you know, we posted it. It's Wendy Fox. And she's going. She's going to be on the podcast when she comes back for sure. We got to get the oh, scoop. Oh, yeah. I can't and, wait here. And Curtis, we have another. We're not going to say the name, but we've until it's official but we've got another client booking star cruiser also oh yeah oh that's when they um they just opened up through december so yeah we've got Uh, that's booking and transferring it to us and as soon as it's official we'll let you know who it is i always want to mention you guys (laughs) if you you can always book your own trip and transfer it it's pretty easy to do right guys right just you have to do days of when you book it we have to send it to disney and then once they get it back to us, then we will take over and we will meet all your needs for you. Yeah. Did you say th- within 30 days of booking, Judy? That's very important. Say- within 30 days and, and not fully paid. She did say and that, but her phone's good. cutting out and we didn't hear it. My okay. phone's cutting I'll hold it. Maybe if I hold it instead of set it up, is that better? No, it's just the way the phone microphone works. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been interesting. We were watching all the vloggers and bloggers, you know, come back with their reports, which um, have been fun to watch. And now they're starting to trickle in with the real people that, right? It looks, for, for a true Star Wars fan, it looks, the experience looks phenomenal. I got such FOMO watching some of them i'm thinking oh i gotta go i gotta go but I, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's gotta be a that's gonna be a thing someday it, the one thing that i that i'm taking away from what i'm reading is the experience the cast members on the the star cruiser are so in character they they never yeah. break character even you know everybody it's not just the main ones it's the you know your wait staff in the cafeteria everybody yep. everybody everybody and there is not a one can, person that isn't in the story. And you can do as much or as little. And your story, and I, I'm getting a takeaway that you're either on the side of the resistance or on the side of the first order. And you have yeah. to make that decision. And then that's how your game plays out. Yeah. And then when you go down I guess to, you can be a double agent, too. When, you go, you, when you go down to Batu, what you do down there also ties in to the game. So it just, it sounds mm-hmm. phenomenal. I can't yeah. wait. Really fun. Really fun. Can't Wendy, wait, but we can't wait to hear your story. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have such a great time. Her trip's coming up soon. Yes. A couple of weeks. Yeah, a couple yes. of weeks. I read something Wendy posted today because she's at the beach. So I have a feeling she's <laughs> back in Florida. <laughs> yeah. Good for you, Wendy. Enjoy. Yeah, she's, not at, she's not at the beach here in Connecticut or New York. That's for sure. No, huh? but it's actually 57 here. Yeah. I know. It's right beautiful. Now, and I've got all the windows open. And as you know, I was just washing my bedroom floor. So I got the windows open. It's, it's beautiful. Beautiful. And beautiful. beautiful. And I've been busy working on cutting out stuff for a quilt. Our church is making quilts for refugee families. And so I've been going through my stash of fabric. And no, it's not a Disney quilt, but I think it's going to be real pretty uh, when we sew them together. Okay, good. Well, yeah. if you're going to so get that Star Cruiser, just be prepared to wait on the phone for a long time. <laughs> if oh, you want. yeah, Curtis and yeah. I were talking about that. Yeah. I was thinking back to original booking day. And it was like over seven hours on hold. It, it, even me calling, you know, four times after that to tweak little things and get information um, as it's happening. Because I really feel like things are changing so quick that when you call in, apparently cast members are saying one thing and what they're doing at Disney is not happening. Is So there's a kind of a communication gap or something going on there. But yeah, you'll yeah. still wait. I mean, I've still waited three or four hours just to get through to talk to these wow. cast members. So, all right. Well, it's a new it's thing. Crazy busy. Yeah. But Whatever. that's the reason you should use a travel advisor because <laughs> we'll do the waiting for you. Right. We'll do the suffering. Right. right. Yeah. We'll sit yeah. on hold and we'll take care of, you know, oh, all your, uh, my stuff. little story of last weekend when I had called. Oh yeah. Um, that's a good one. Earlier, maybe six, five, six o'clock, something like that. And they did have a message that they would call me back within three hours. So I thought that's okay. It's, I'm not doing anything. It's Saturday night. I'm just hanging out. 
Um, I talked to you for a while. I think we talked till 11. Right, Lindsay and we did. Kurt were, went to a show and they came home shortly after 11. Talked to them for a while. And then I was just down here kind of, you know, getting ready to go to bed and bundling up. And the phone rang at 5 of 12 and it was Disney. And they did get back to me. They mm-hmm. really did. At, at <laughs> so, so, I, would, I would have been solid wood and sound asleep at that point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad I was able to, um, you know, yeah. I talked to them until about quarter to one to get some questions answered and, and, um, wow. yeah, it was good. I was surprised that they called, but they did. So they will get back to you, to yep. me. They will. <laughs> yes, they will. We're good. We're good. The hours of the travel agent never <laughs> seem to end. No, <laughs> no, that's, no. That's the thing. We're available pretty much, um, you know, on an emergency basis on the weekends, if something happens or whatever, we can usually fix whatever you need. So, yeah. But you know what makes it all worth it is when you get a a text from a client that says, we're on Castaway Key and we are having a phenomenal, wonderful time. And then, you know, yep, it's worth it. It's, you know, to get people's trips like that. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We had a really cute video in the Facebook group from, was it Topolino? Topolino. That was Lindsay Valencina. Right, right. Yes, with Henry. That was, that was that adorable. Was just the sweetest thing, right? Henry was clapping to the music and I know, watching the... I know. Eating his delicious food and watching all the characters. I think mom was just as excited. <laughs> it was so yeah, cute. That was really great. Yeah, I said he was just like me. He kind of pays attention. He does multitasking, watching the characters and trying to eat at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Very cute. I know. I know. Did Very you, cute. Judy, did you have something you wanted to mention today? Well, we're just getting ready for our June anniversary trip, uh, our 50th and your 33rd. And so Margina and I have started to look at dining reservations, or not reservations, but dining well, thinking spots. thinking about you know. what do we want to do? What yeah. do we want to do? If, if the hoop de doo opens and is up by then, that to me is a must do for my anniversary. All right. Um, That's going to beat out the yachtsman, Judy. That will beat out the yachtsman in a heartbeat. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's so yeah. strange. We haven't heard any news on the hoop to do. No, yet. we haven't. We okay. have. Well, hopefully, it comes true. Hopefully, it comes yeah. true. My choice is the fireworks show at the Rose yes. and Crown. Oh, I hope it good. lives up to its, um, you know what we experienced the first time right. we did it, but it it's uh, it looks great. It looks like it's still the same food, and you know the drink situation is the same. And just I'll just keep filling it if you keep asking for it. So it, you know what? Now that it's going to be summer, there that lower level of the patio will be open. You know, because we were up above and under the you know the the curtain walls, but you know mm. maybe we can sit down in that lower level and then really you know practically be in the water to watch them. Oh, that is so could cool. Be. Well, Marquis, <laughs> yeah. it's been a while yeah. since you've been down to Disney World. What's something that you're really February looking forward to? February 2020, yeah. What's something you're looking forward to? Mickey's Runaway Train. Yeah. And yeah. Remy. Yeah. Right. Um, maybe Galaxies, uh, Gardens of the Galaxy. Yeah, hopefully that open. opens. Right, that we did get rumor. news, but that was... Yeah kind of fake news at first i don't know well, no, that was, news. It's, it's, news. Um, it was an actual uh disney suit yes. who tweeted it out By and, and then he, but then he changed it so now we're not real sure yeah he, retracted. he said summer he said yeah. first he said he gave the dates and now they said summer he so said let's hope it's still let's hope yeah um what's a what's a restaurant what you're looking forward to we were talking about doing Nakusi this time because we um, haven't you know we've all done the uh, California grill so we, we talked about that but then we're, well we never went over there and that's supposed to be pretty good okay yeah I'm all for that something yeah. new yeah I definitely would like to do a Grand Floridian yeah restaurant for sure yeah, yeah the one over there was the Citrico's, but what was it about that that didn't appeal to us? We there was something the menu the didn't menu appeal just to us. Didn't, yeah. didn't appeal to us in general. The Narcusi menu looked much much better for our tastes. Yeah, so yeah. we'll see. Hopefully that works out. 
Um, you know, I, I, was wanna, thinking, I would like to do Space 220. I know you guys have done it, but no, uh, we Ken and I have not done it. So, oh, I yeah. thought you did it too. Okay, no, well, we, we canceled it. We'll try for that. That would be good. Sounds good to me. And don't forget Spice Road Table this time. You promised oh, no. me. Yeah, you've done it <laughs> twice, Curtis. So you're 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 out of luck on that one. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Had two times, Curtis. Really? Well, yeah. <laughs> Does that mean I'm done forever? I think he no. liked the company better than with the food, actually. <laughs> I think the company you, is what made it. We we will we will let you ask for a choice. You know, you can you can suggest and if it fits into our plans, maybe we'll <laughs> book it. If it's our schedule. Oh, it's not easy you, being green. I know. Do yeah, you have I, do you have one that you, you would like to do? I didn't think I was going to get a choice, so I haven't given it well, much thought. But I'll, I'll we're work also on it. thinking. We're also thinking of um, on the day when we change resorts, going you know going to a, like a, a brunch or something, and then heading over to Disney Springs for dinner. I'll tell you, yeah, I so. my last trip with the G three, I I again walked away from Disney Springs just saying I really enjoy that. Like the polite pig, I would do. I would love to do the polite pig and just yeah, have I'd like barbecue. to try that too. That, yeah, but see, the, the size works. sounds amazing, and you know, there's somebody in this group that's not a fan of barbecue. Uh, let me think who that might be. Uh, that would be me. <laughs> yeah, they got lots of stuff yeah, there, though. They've got lots. You know what? I'd like to very, do, very extensive. I'd like to do that menu. pretzel, that charcuterie pretzel at Jack Lindsay's. Oh yeah, that's... well we've done that already. We've oh, done but that I could once. do that. I could do that um, again. <laughs> so many good places. And we down can there. sure do that again. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So my choice no would be down at Disney Springs somewhere. I figured it would be. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Now, when we went, you went there with Glenn, but we went to um, City Works. We had a really good meal there. And I, that's I, another good place to I try. Would do that, that again. Yeah, that was uh, a good place. I didn't really have a meal. I just had a pretzel and a, a, we split the sliders, too. That was really and we, good. Ken and I each had the sliders, so we each ate the whole thing as a meal, and that was plenty of food. I know. Because you get yeah. two sliders and the well, salad. Be tough. Well, the year is marching along. It's here already March. It and is. Before you know it, we'll be going back down to Disney World, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got to yep. do, we do dining in less than a month, in just about a month now. Well, don't forget to make our plans because no, you know, we, I know. we've already got, we're working on that. <laughs> Do well, you really think that. that we're putting ourselves? <laughs> he just isn't here when we have our conversations, Judy. No. Yeah, no, we've, got, hear our plans. we've got our spreadsheet with restaurant suggestions. We've got all sorts of stuff. We just got to sort out put together what, what yeah. days and what's going on and right. narrow yeah. down the restaurants and like that. So we're good. Oh, we're, yeah. good. We're, we're good. When you're we're ready, good. show it for we're me. We're ready. Show it to me for my approval. I've got my scooter rented, so you know life is good. Oh, good. <laughs> this is serious now. The scooter. This is serious. Rented. I got that all so, set. There you go. It's yeah, in the yeah, books. yeah. That's all on, I need so. is annual passes to come back now. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Hey, that would be good. I want to know. So, the two bedroom. Do I get the king bed or does Judy get it? Um. Well, we're staying at two resorts, so I just need swap. a shower that I don't. I just need a shower <laughs> that I don't have to climb into the tub. Right. <sighs> So it All doesn't right. matter to me as long as I don't have to climb into the into a tub. All that, right, guys. <laughs> well, Rita, I know you're putting together our bed. We got a brand new mattress. A bed in a box. box a bed in a box. She started working on that. Today. I got the floor half washed, so I want to finish the other half. Oh, and then I think Lindsay's going to help me put it. To, well, you might have to bring it up the stairs because that I box got a lot of work this afternoon pounds. still to get the podcast yeah. out and get my bed and put you're, together. You're going to have you're going to have the sleep of the babies tonight because you'll be in a brand oh, new mattress. Judy, I hope so. I hope it's not going to be a huge disappointment. <laughs> it's fall through. Oh, but you wait a minute. Know. You know what? Uh, my son Benjamin put that mattress in. He said it takes eight hours for it to inflate. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Wow, that's he did. That's what he did. Well, I'll be sleeping on the floor tonight then. Maybe. The <laughs> we'll let you know tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. No, he said it took quite a while for it to for it to charge up or, you know, pop up. All yeah. Right. Well, yeah, that's I'll awesome. see. Now you tell me. Well well it's only well that means we'll be ready to go by to bed at midnight, which is works out good for me. <laughs> So no problem there. No problem <laughs> there. Yeah, you'll be up. Kurt, maybe a little, little different. But All yeah. right, guys. Okay, guys. Yep. We'll see Good you later. You. We'll talk to you next week. All right. Talk to you soon. Take, Take care. care. Bye. 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 
All right, it's time for the featured trip report with Marissa Martin. Yeah, going to take a break from those G3 roundtables. And Marissa, I recorded back in January. So the last of those recordings that I had all done in December and January. But Marissa is awesome. She booked with the Travel and Tears, and she's a Patreon supporter. Thank you so much, Marissa. She's got a family of four. Nine-year-old girl, seven-year-old boy, staying at the Dolphin Resort. Get lots of great reviews of the Swan and Dolphin. Talk, she talks about the upstairs crew at the Columbia Harbor House. Yeah, one of my favorite spots to have a quick service meal. Cinderella's Royal Table. That's in the castle. I think that was our first time there. ABC Commissary, Brown Derby, Trattoria Al Forno. And they have a fun eating around the world showcase scavenger hunt challenge. They made it up themselves. That was a great idea. They do Boma, one of my favorites, and you're going to get lots of great Genie Plus experiences. She bought it for her entire trip, and I think this is the best way for you guys to learn about Genie Plus when you're listening to podcasts. Listen to our our awesome listeners, listening to our awesome guests that explain their exact experience, and Marissa does a great job with this. You're going to get some true tips for the Genie Plus, if that's something you're interested in. And many of the people that answer the questions for the private Facebook group always ask about the Genie Plus. It makes sense. It's new. I love seeing these surprises that some of you guys do with the kids. I don't know that I could have done it. <laughs> I'm bad at like keeping that a secret for so long, but they did a great job. I remember seeing the video they posted in our group. So really fun to hear all about that and all the favorite memories that each person on their trip had. Well, Marissa brings such great energy. It's fun. She has lots of tips on this week's show. Surprise, Geek and Kids. We're going back to Walt Disney World. Yes, it is still five degrees here in Connecticut, the coldest day of the year. I really want to talk about Florida and Disney World, so I'm excited. I think, yeah, this is the first recording I've done of the entire year. This is exciting. (laughs) Let's, I've got a guest come on here. I know she's been on before, so please give a warm Geek and Family welcome to Marissa Martin. Hey, geeks. Hey, Marissa. How you doing? They're in I'm Mississippi. Great. Yep. We're a little bit warmer over here than you are. <laughs> I know. It's about You're... 56, a balmy oh. 56 for us today. Was that the low, I think, though? Was it higher? Uh, was it hotter today? No, that was our, that was our high today. Oh, yeah. It goes, it, it goes from 80 to 40, you know, yeah, all in one day. Just like kind of Florida. Is your climate similar to Florida? Yes, very similar. It can be, Muggy. you know, it, it. you can go through all four seasons in one day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Lindsay and I were out doing some shopping. And I was just, this is always oh, horrible. And the wind blows. It's tough right now. Mm-hmm. Middle of January as we're recording this. Well, thanks for reaching out to me for a trivia report. Sure. I, I believe you booked with the Travel and Tierras too. I did. I was so excited to get to book with them. And I mostly worked with Judy and she was fabulous. And it was, it, it all worked out great. First time booking with them? Yes, it okay. was. I've, I've been in the group for about three years now. One, tr- the first trip that I started listening with y'all was for last year and um, just doing, doing the research and got in with the group. But that trip was a year and a half in the making because it had been rescheduled due to COVID and we went the same week. Um, we went a Christmas trip last year and we did a Christmas trip for, for this trip that I'm about to talk about and same week. So I was, I was eager to use the travel in Tierras. Oh, thank you. We appreciate that so much. I a little frog in my throat there. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Tell me about yourself then. Do you have any fun facts? Well, I was thinking about, I don't, I don't have any new fun facts to share with the group from my, from my last report, but I do have some like 
Disney future goals that I've heard and, and and things that that. I've heard others talk about that I'm like, yes, I need to do that. Uh, Yeah. Well, you know, it's the new year and it's time to set resolution resolutions and goals. Right. 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 Well, don't tell my family, but one, one time I would like to take a solo trip to Disney. Oh, I could hook you up with some other ladies. If that was, I know I've listened to several (laughs) trip reports where it's been solo, but not so solo and all that. And I love it. Um, but yeah, that's a, that is a secret secret mm. goal of mine. Um, but with a nine and a seven year old, that does not go mm. over very well. It's, <laughs> it's, not not, easy. it's not that season of life for me just yet. <laughs> and I'd also like to do a run Disney event at some point. Mm. So, you, could, you could combine both those goals. I, I, yeah. I think, I think that would probably be the best way to do, to get kill two of those <laughs> birds with one stone. <laughs> Or though I would like you to come to a G3 and go solo because that's the well, best that way to do it. Now, honestly, I think it's so great. You know, we are kind of, because I'm, I'm mostly, my kids are all grown up, so I could call this podcast. A lot of times it kind of leans towards the adult side of things. We do have, obviously, we have people come on and talk about the kids stuff. But yeah, it's a, it's a great opportunity, the G3, to go solo or with pick another friend and share even a room. We've got people that do that and I'm doing that this time (laughs) as a matter of fact, and it's a great time. And then you can go kind of do what you want, pick out some of the activities that we're doing and hang out with us. I know I'm going to have to get out of this Christmas rotation though, because um, going in December and then turning them back around and going in February. (laughs) Yeah. And I don't know. It's interesting. (laughs) The last two have been in February. Remember the first one was in October it seems to have been following along with Kevin Curtis Allen's travel plans. And I think oh, okay. his next time coming is going to be in the fall. So, you know. Well, we'll say, well I'll, I'll stay yeah. up and post it on the dates for sure. It's a good reason for an annual pass. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they're not selling annual passes no, right now, are they? Don't remind me because I <laughs> just had this debacle. Everyone was laughing at me because I was, I was hanging on. I wanted to get an annual pass because we're going in June, and I, I I didn't get my passes for G3 till like this past week, because I was kind of holding out, seeing if they're going to bring them back. I know, mm-hmm. but did they stop selling them all together, or yeah. just like you couldn't renew one that you had? It's- mm, I think you probably could renew. Yeah. Okay. I, but well, we did. We can only. We can really only swing one one trip a year I understand. So the annual pass doesn't really you know work out for us as much as i mm-hmm. wish it could you get one just for you oh <laughs> well that might be a hard sell <laughs> <laughs> well you know if you get a room discount with it you know i don't know that's true something to think about Something to think about because I guess they're not, it's not even an option right now. We can only mm. hope and wish and dream. <laughs> well, I'm guessing I know who went on this trip, but why don't you tell me for sure? Okay. It was my, my immediate family. Mm. It was myself, my husband, Justin, and my nine-year-old son, Ridley, and my seven-year-old, Mabry. Perfect family of four. Family of four, boy and a girl. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Easy to go. <laughs> Not like the odd yes. couple I had with five of us trying to yes. find a room at Disney World. Right. No, we've, um, there was one trip where we took my mom with us and we stayed at uh, Port Orleans Riverside and we had the pull down bed yep. that, that worked out well, but we're usually just a, a family of, of four traveling Perfect. to Disney. We find it works, works best that way. Absolutely. Where'd us. you stay? <clears throat> well, we stayed at the Dolphin, mm. the Swan and the Swan and Dolphin, but the Dolphin building. And, um, I just have to say that was a first for us staying there. And I had, I have all these, you know, dreams of staying at different Disney hotels and trying out new ones. And this ruined that for me. I don't know that we'll be able to stay at another hotel for how much we love the Dolphin. Wow. Great for you. We had a great time there. The location is amazing. Walking to Hollywood Studios, walking to Epcot, 
the animal kingdom bus drops you off closer, like literally in the parking lot at the entrance of the, the park. So Mm. it's closer than any of the other Disney buses. You know, we kind of cheated the system and rode a boardwalk bus to magic kingdom. And that location alone would have, would have been enough for us because we don't mind walking. In fact, we prefer it if we can. And, uh, the bus system there worked great. And we also, I mean, it was, it was a lovely hotel. Uh, Mm -hmm. the, the only thing I could say is that it did have the full beds, which was, I mean, that's fine for us. We just each, my husband and I slept with one of the kids, but yeah, it was great. And we were both like, we can't, ever, we, we won't stay anywhere else after this. Wow. What a great endorsement for the dolphin. <laughs> the, yeah. And you know, I haven't, I haven't heard that many people talk about it really. It, and I've seen a couple of blog posts on it about how it's a hidden gem and, and all this. And for the price, mm. the location, the amenities, it has great restaurants. We saw them. We didn't go to any of them, but they have great reviews. It was just a beautiful hotel. Um, we, we loved that. You know, we were, it had a great vibe in the lobby. There was a nice big bar. There was a lot of seating. It was huge. <laughs> um, great pools. All, all, everything was was wonderful. But my favorite thing as the mom who is always in charge of the breakfast run, (laughs) (laughs) that can be a 15 minute walk. Um, you know, there's some of the Disney resorts, they had a mobile order room service for breakfast and, and Mm -hmm. for other meals, but we used it mainly for breakfast that arrived to the minute on time to the door for a normal breakfast price. Mm. And that was huge for mm. me personally. And, um, you know, it was just an extra perk. <laughs> and happy mom, happy life. Yeah. Because I'm <laughs> always the one that has to get up so much earlier than everybody else to go get breakfast and bring, you know, it's just, yeah. sometimes it can be cumbersome to lug all of it back to the room. And I've, I've honestly, I've never tried to do room service in any of the moderate hotels. So it it was great. I don't have one bad thing to say about it. And I was talking to my kids today and they, they did miss a little bit of the Disney Disney vacation. If you will, it is a Marriott resort. It's got, I I said it had just a pinky toe out of the (laughs) Disney bubble. (laughs) And keep in mind that last year at the same time, we stayed at art of animation. So yeah. you go from complete Disney immersion into, you know, not a lot of characters or things like that going on in the actual right. hotel. Um, but yeah. of course my husband, and I didn't, didn't mind that at all, <laughs> but that was the one thing that the, the kids kept saying. And they also had housekeeping every day, which was huh. that may be back at the Disney resorts. Now I'm not sure quite honestly, even in other vacation venues we haven't been able to get housekeeping okay. every day so that was a plus for this mama who makes three beds every day of her life <laughs> that, oh, yeah. that i didn't have to make those beds on vacation <laughs> i understand so we that. loved it yes. the room sizes are pretty big too right yeah they were they were decent sizes they had two um mirrored areas if you needed to share like a you know a space to get ready in you know, I thought it was all very, very nice for, um, that the, the price. And then you get all the perks. It didn't actually work out for us that we got any of the extended hours just for the days that we were there, mm. the evening time extended hours, but, um, you would have with that hotel, they get all the deluxe, uh, what do you call them? Benefits, I guess, or perks half hour. It was a half hour. We had the half hour, we were able to make the half hour going in, but then there was some days, I believe at Epcot and Magic Kingdom where there was extended evening hours, but we were, we were either, I think they were on a Wednesday and a Monday and we came in on a Wednesday night and left on the Monday. So we didn't, we didn't get those. Dolphin and Swan was my first Disney World experience. I think you're right. It's a hidden gem. Mom and Judy can book it. It's part of the. Sweet, they certainly can book it too. So, yeah, it's definitely, and like you said, now you know 
when we say location, location, like for DVC, it's just, there's nothing like walking to the parks. Ama- it was absolutely amazing. I, I, <laughs> I, I'll get to it later on, but there was a situation with the Skyliner line that really gave me some anxiety. And I'm like, I'm so thankful we can just pass this and walk the seven minutes to our <laughs> yeah. hotel. It's a beautiful area too. I love that area. I just like, like I said, I always say I grew up on Disney World in that area, the boardwalk area. And it is Definitely something that some folks don't even know about. Right. And that was my first time to experience the boardwalk as well. And yes, it was, I mean, it was just fabulous. It really has ruined me for (laughs) any other hotel. I I think my husband was like, don't, don't book us anywhere ever again. (laughs) We are going to be here. I think that's a common Disney World experience. It was the same thing for my wife and I and our family when we started going. I, I first actually stayed. I couldn't get in at the Dolphin Swan because they were all sold out when I went to my conference. And I stayed at Disney Springs, downtown Disney, those hotels. And mm-hmm. when I went with my family, I didn't know any better. And I was, you know, first time going, trying to save some money. I stayed down there with them. And that was fine. But then the, we got a deal. Speaking of annual passes, we got a deal at the Polynesian. That was my second, second or third. There was like our third family trip that ruined us right there. Like you said, well, like, I can... no, no, I mean, we still like, I'm going, I'm, I, I still stay at pop and all that, but there's such a wonderful feeling of those resorts. When I priced it out, uh, I had considered doing Caribbean beach and the dolphin mm. and there was no, there was really no availability at Caribbean beach. And so it was just kind of a happy accident that this, this worked out and it worked out so well, but it was right on the money with the price for the little mermaid suite that we stayed in art animation wow. yeah. last year. Cool. So it really is priced at a moderate hotel yes. which is which is what we typically do we we just cannot justify the way we do disney full stink we cannot yeah, i mean we just sense. can't justify staying at a true deluxe disney resort mm-hmm. but we do uh, you know we we like the moderates and um so this was just like the perfect combination of both so we ha- that was one of the highlights of the trip i think was discovering discovering the dolphin Awesome. Well, I would love to talk about food on this podcast. I bet you know that, Marissa. I know that. So I looked at your notes and I bolded all your food stops. So we're going to cover okay. all of those right now. The first one I saw, you were in Magic Kingdom your first day. You did Columbia yes. Harbor House. Yes. Now that's been closed for m- way know. too long. So I'm so glad. Way too long. Way- and I was so happy to go back. Yep, it's open. We, so it's a favorite of many yeah. people. What'd you think? Well, I've we've been there several times before. Uh, I, it was good as always. Of course, I went with the the lobster roll, and uh, my husband got the shrimp kebab. My my son loves salmon. He got the salmon, and uh, my little girl got chicken strips and an uncrustable. So <laughs> everyone's happy. I, Everybody was happy and we had literally, we had like the upstairs all to ourselves. Uh, the upstairs crew. I've got the t-shirt. My friend Deirdre <laughs> gave me the t-shirt. Yeah. So. I think, I, you know, I think it's very true that a lot of people don't realize that you can go upstairs up there, but it, we had, we had like this corner seat with windows looking out. It was great. We, we kind of had to take an earlier lunch that day because if you move on to our next meal, our dinner was at 3.30. <laughs> I, you know what? I think that's a great tip, actually. We like doing that, too. We rope drop the parks. We're the first one at lunch and the first one at dinner, and you beat the crowd. That's another crowd-beating strategy, really. I think. Yeah, and in general, um, I was prepared to, like – just, just listening to Christmas crowds and just this year, mm. I think the crowds have been heavier in general, but there was, you know, the tip that you need to do your mobile orders pretty early in the morning. Yep. But for us, the week we were there, which was, uh, we were there the December 15th through the 20th. And I mm. found that we, there was still times available. Um, if mm. you were just, you know, say it was 11 o'clock and you wanted to eat at 12, 
you could have done that. You didn't have to do it right, you right. know, in the morning, right after the parks. Well, opened. this is really important. I got to know this. What's the status of my lobster roll at the Columbia Harbor House? I thought it was great. I haven't gotten a report in a while. Yeah. I my mean, last it, report yeah. was from Judy, <laughs> which was the the one that were, they were doing the lobster roll over at Tomorrowland Tomorrow Terrace? Terrace. Yes. Yeah. They've, I never tried. I never had it there, good. but I You're thought, lucky. I mean, it tasted like the ones I've had previous. It was <laughs> like big very chunks? fresh, big, big chunks, ch- very light, not too much mayonnaise. Um, it was Kermit great. Likes it. Kermit likes that. Kermit likes it. Kermit approves, uh, you know, and a $5 Uncrustable. I mean, how can you do, <laughs> go wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> we got the whole spectrum here. Lobster rolls, and uncrustables, <laughs> salmon, shrimp kebabs. Good deal. All right. Yes, you did the Cinderella's Royal Table. That's in the castle, isn't it? Yes. And that was a first for us. Well done. It was, well, well done to the Traveling Tierras because yeah, they were the ones it. who who scored it for me. That was one of my top picks for the trip. It was kind of our... Uh, you know, splurge for a different kind of experience. And uh, I, I loved it. Okay. I've heard from, you know, just other reviews that, you know, you go more for the experience, not so much the food, but I actually enjoyed the food. I thought it was very well prepared, mm-hmm. very well presented. Mm-hmm. The experience was great. The entry coming into the restaurant, how they announce you. Mm-hmm. It was all very pomp and circumstance, <laughs> if you will. Uh, <laughs> they, Perfect. Uh, the kids felt very special. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I always love when my son gets into these like princess type <laughs> things. You know, you know, it's a good experience and it's well done when a nine year old boy mm-hmm. is taking it all in mm-hmm. and enjoying it as much as his seven-year-old sister (laughs) to me that's a a very glowing stamp of approval right there good score yeah what's going on with character well Well, princesses yes they didn't they only had cinderella i'm not sure what they typically have if they had Mm. others uh joined cinderella before yeah it's usually like a suite of princesses prince charming it was just it was just Cinderella, mm-hmm. and um, but she came through like three times. Uh, stayed on the outer uh, outer areas of the restaurant, but but mm-hmm. it it was great. I mean, she waved at you, she blew you a kiss. Mm-hmm. It was it was very very well done, and they announced her, and all all very fun. Just just enough, you know. She wasn't hugging on everybody, <laughs> and they she had her two bodyguards, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> But, but it was, I I mean, we saw her plenty of times by the third time and we were ready to, ready to go and she was coming through and we had to sit for the extra 10 minutes because they don't like you to get up while she's there. She is a very warm person. I just, we don't want to uh, say anything negative about Cinderella. No, no. Now it's not the time to be hugging. We had seen Cinderella earlier that morning at the princess meets um, okay. in that were, you know, an actual, uh, I, I forget what they call them. It was with uh, Tiana and, and uh. Cinderella. Um, so you actually had a meet where you could uh, get your picture made. So it was, uh. it was great to see her again. Because your daughter day. is the perfect age for this. Oh, per- yes, yes. And uh, the only thing that I feel like she's missed out on in these you know, these sweet little years has been the Bibbidi Bobbidi boutique. Mm, yeah. We had, we have not been able to catch that when it's either she was too young to appreciate it. And in the last couple of years, it's just been closed for right. COVID. So right. yes, hopefully she won't out- grow I know. that. Um, I, I, I hope I can uh-huh. kind of already tell maybe something like that is a little bit. Is it? Yeah. Okay. You know, want to bring any princess dresses this time you know it was okay. kind of it right. was kind of a, a dagger to this mommy's heart <laughs> but, <I understand. laughs> well, I, but she still i mean lit up like a christmas tree when she got to meet the princesses this great. time around awesome. and so that was still that was still very fun to watch i like the food you got on your list here charcuterie boards scallops beef tenderloin oh yes well, that looks we, good to me we, yeah, it was it it was actually delicious. The the 
heirloom tomato salad. That's I, I had that. My husband got the charcuterie and I got the salad. I thought it was, I thought the food was just great. The scallops. Awesome. I mean, it was all the kid. My, my son got the kids beef tenderloin and Justin got the adult portion and everything was, was phenomenal. The, my favorite thing, and I'm not even a dessert person. I only got the dessert because we'd already paid for it. It's <laughs> and, a, yeah. How do they do this? Marissa? Okay. It's, well, there you have a couple choices. My husband got the dark chocolate mousse, which was very good, but very rich for me. It's like a one, one bite and done for me, but I got the co- coffee pots de creme, if I'm saying that correctly. Mm-hmm. And that was delicious. Nice. That made the whole meal right there. Wow. I had asked for, for a Bailey's and coffee and they <laughs> didn't have that cause they don't have liquor, I guess. And I was like, is Bailey's really liquor? <laughs> I guess it is. <laughs> but, they, <laughs> but our, our nice waiter was like, but if you're looking for a coffee, try this. And he recommended that dessert cause it's coffee flavored. Mm. It was delicious. I, I recommend yeah. that to anybody. And the whole meal, was it a price fix? It was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you pick from a couple of entrees. You had about kind of four choices for, for each. Uh, yeah. Yes. Gotcha. Three, three courses, and a, an appetizer, an entree, and then a dessert. Now, wait a minute. You said no liquor, but who drank the two Royal 50th flights of mimosa? Yeah, that, was, that was me. Two um, for you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're small. <laughs> they're small. <laughs> um, yeah, they, I guess the wine judging. doesn't count as liquor. I don't. I don't know where they uh, where they draw the line here. But uh, they did not have Bailey's. But uh, yes, they had those. And I'll tell you what, their their um, peach, their the white sangria. They, I can't remember the the name of it. And if I, even if I did, it was something I, uh, Italian. But it, if they. <laughs> I would, I would butcher it if I tried to say it, but they had that in other areas of the parks. And Mm. this was one of our first sit down meals. And I got that every time they had it, (laughs) it was, it turned out to be one of my favorites. Sounds good. Mimosa can't go wrong there. Peach sangria. They were about half size portions just to to let everybody know. I mean, so you did, you know, so you got to get two just to taste. So yeah, you really, you really need to get two to have the the full effect. (laughs) We don't judge here on this podcast. We celebrate those kinds of things. I can't remember. My, my husband had, I think he had some, another wine choice. I couldn't, I I didn't make note of it. Wine and beer is probably on the menu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Super, of course. That's probably extra beyond the price. Oh yeah, that that is not included. Let me let's be <laughs> be clear on that. You do, and just just so people are aware, um, for this particular restaurant, and I think I, I'm not. I think there may be one or two others that they go ahead and they charge you the full price, mm-hmm. like upon booking, mm-hmm. um, and and then you will like for our drinks and things that we ordered in addition, you settled that up at yeah. the actual restaurant at the time you, you dined. That one's a popular one. So they want to make sure you show up. I bet is what the deal is there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I don't know why you wouldn't show up. It's, it's gorgeous in there. It's stained glass windows. Yeah. Just to say you've, you've been in there. They came around, they gave a little wand and a sword out yeah, you know, right. which my kids were tickled about. They they didn't expect that. And it was, <laughs> I think I got one last time. I was yeah. there. <laughs> they, it was just a you know, it's a nice touch and cool. they they really enjoyed it and you know, right. I, I I rec I recommend it for the experience and for the food as well. Perfect. So. All right. Now we'll go eat with the commoners over at the <laughs> ABC Commons. Talk about the t- <laughs> <laughs> we go all over the place. <laughs> Yes, we, you know, we like to do one sit down meal a day. That's about all we can handle. No, that's, yeah, absolutely. But I I love the quick service and I love talking about the quick services. 
I don't mind going from the castle to ABC commissary because I think ABC commissary, I've had those shrimp tacos. Yeah, no, you know, it was, it, no for, for what right? it was, it was great. Very convenient. Yeah. Again, we didn't have to um, mobile order like straight away in the morning. And I got the, I had the shrimp tacos. My husband had the Mediterranean chicken salad. Um, and then my, my daughter and my son, they split the chicken club and the uncrustable, you know, those uncrustables. <laughs> Disney knows what they're doing. Let me just say, tell I was you. say, mom, can't you just, just stuff a couple of those in your bag? And you I to... should have. <laughs> uh, that's the problem with flying is that you can't get all those extras in, but let me tell you, it would have been worth the, uh, the run once we got to town to go buy a box of the uncrustables. Do those have grape jelly in them or is it just peanut butter? What is that? No, it, it's uh, depending on what, what flavor they have at whatever particular restaurant it's it's either a grape or strawberry mm-hmm. but it's got and peanut it's butter just that too, good right? white bread is it got know, peanut they're... butter in it too mm-hmm. yeah, yeah peanut butter peanut and jelly. it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich yeah. on white bread is all it is without the you know. crust yes with uncrustables yes oh. without the crust <laughs> yep <sighs> Perfect. But that marketing. that was great. I, I mean, we've we've eaten there a time or two before, and I wanted to try some other places there, but nobody nobody could come to a consensus in our group. So I was like, okay, we're just going to go here, yeah. and we just kind of uh, we just sat around by the lake out there and kind of pulled up some menus like right around lunchtime, and just decided where to go, and then mobile ordered it. And by the time we had walked over there, it was ready Spot and worked. On. Worked beautifully, yes. Any snacks? I see once you didn't describe a snack, but any favorite snacks for the family on this trip? Well, our snack, our go-to snacks are the Mickey pretzels. Ah. I bet my son ate (laughs) 10 Mickey pretzels in four days. No lie. (laughs) Anytime there was a stand, he was getting a Mickey pretzel or, of course, popcorn. Because popcorn is still... It's, it might be the only deal you can get in Disney nowadays, but it is a deal. And so we do a lot of popcorn and Did you get a bucket? Pretzels. We got a bucket. The bucket's yeah. the only way to go. We got the 50th anniversary bucket, mm-hmm. which I kept as a memento because usually I know there's, don't kick me out of the geek group, but I know <laughs> there's people that love these popcorn buckets and that i don't know if they're buying just the regular 12 dollar one or the very expensive one are you looking around for yes. your collection <laughs> yeah, i got them all but, over the place here on my we office. usually we always fly and so it, it's kind of you know sometimes it doesn't always fit and we'll just give it to somebody and say here oh. you know enjoy your two dollar refills <laughs> but the uh this one we kept and all we right. took it home so. 50th anniversary it's yeah the 50th anniversary one is just like a regular round buck, isn't it? it it's like, just, yeah, it's just, it just, ha- yeah, nothing. it's the $12, Yeah, you know, around it's here. not one of these fancy buckets. I can't so. reach and I'm all wired in here. So You're I'm not right. gonna... <laughs> All right. And then Hollywood Studios Brown Derby, 7 p.m. Yes. That's a signature so that, restaurant. Yes. That so. was was great. We had left um, Hollywood Studios that day to my son loves the Skyliner. And so we had to get a Skyliner ride in. And so I think around five o'clock, we, we just did, we just rode the Skyliner the whole loop around. Oh, okay. um, and we stopped in Epcot and uh, stopped at the Canadian Pavilion. <laughs> I mean, the Canadian stand, like for um, the food festival. And we got a snack there. And so by the time we got to Brown Derby, I just wasn't starving anymore. But and and this should th- I want this to be a ringing endorsement for this restaurant. It's I never get a hamburger. Mm-hmm. If, if if scallops are on the menu, that is what I'm getting. No but keep kidding. in mind, I had scallops at, <laughs> at yeah. Cinderella's Royal Table. Okay. I had had scallops that same day at Canada at, or the Yukon, the yeah. Yukon booth there. And then I was planning on getting the scallops at Brown Derby. Uh-huh. But they walked past with this hamburger <laughs> that was as big as my head, but it looked and it smelled amazing. <laughs> Drew and you in like a so, tractor beam. That's what I got. And I was not, I knew, I was like, I know I am not hungry enough for this hamburger, uh-huh. but I'm getting it. 
And my husband got the Cobb salad. He loves a good salad. Like yeah. that is his jam. Mm-hmm. So I said, well, then you have to get this and I'll split my ham, you know, my hamburger with you. Yeah. But it was a delicious hamburger. The best blend of like sweet and savory. I know that sounds nice. probably funny for a hamburger, but it oh, was delicious. Yeah. You got the same food pyramid as my wife, Margita. <laughs> scallops, scallops and hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> well, normally I, I I truly am not a hamburger fan. Okay. I mean, especially in a fine dining okay. restaurant. I'm oh, not okay. going. I, I'm just not. They're yeah. just. I'm I'm always a seafood person. Okay. But let me tell you, it was great. I got the one thing I didn't really care for was uh, as an appetizer, I got the oyster and grease soup. And that was just a little bit, I thought it was going to be more of a broth and it was very creamy based soup. Uh And so that, that just was too, too rich. And I just, it wasn't my favorite, but okay. again, they had the sangria there that they had at C- Cinderella's Royal table. That makes so I got everyone that. Happy. And, um, <laughs> it was, a, it was just a great, great meal, great service. It was, and all, all the like old Hollywood caricatures on the wall and all that stuff is very neat in there. I was going to ask you, as I show you the geek and non WDW charcuterie board that we're giving out. Yeah. <laughs> How is the charcuterie like at the it. Brown Derby? Yes, I like it. It, it. It's good. They're all good. You know, I, you can't you can't go wrong I with love Disney the charcuterie in my, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I have I haven't met one I didn't like. Yet. No, right? they're all <laughs> they're all, they're but, but they're all different too. It's yeah. not like they just recycle the same. It, they're you know yeah with little surprises, different sauces, different meats. Um, hey, so, wait a minute. Yeah. The thing I I don't see any. Desserts on this list. Brown Derby is good for desserts. No, we, 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 yeah, we were that, that stop at the Yukon tent ruined us for desserts. Ah, So (laughs) we we were just so full that we just had to pass on dessert there. But that hamburger, you know, it was enough sweet that, that you didn't need dessert. I don't know if it was the bun. I don't know if it was how the onions were prepared. Something was so good, sweet and savory mix. It was just outstanding. Now I'm trying to figure out, I don't know if I'm mixing my days, but it was the same day you were at. Okay. Did, did you do more of the world showcase snack and cookie tour? <laughs> no, that, that was, day. that was the, the next day. All mm-hmm. right. So you looks, uh, cause you look yes. like you hit a okay, lot so that, of snacks then and all the booths. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we did. Let's hit your favorites of the booths. Okay. Favorites. Okay. Let's see. Um, okay. One thing I do want to talk about this, if I'll interject real fast, mm. um, because I think I forgot to put it in my original notes I sent to you. We went to that. The, our Epcot day was a Saturday and we, since they open a little bit later and we were at boardwalk, we had a reservation for Trattoria Al Forno for breakfast. Mm -hmm. And that was wonderful. Oh, That I I booked it. And, and I think it used to be a character breakfast. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, I'm going to book this and maybe they'll bring it back. Maybe they won't, you know, we'll, we'll just Mm. see. But that was an outstanding, that restaurant was well, perfect outstanding. Perfect idea as well. for where you're staying, right? That's yes. Like, I no mean, brainer. it was great. Right? That's a great restaurant, but, not just for breakfast, too, Marissa. You know, I like that Italian food. I've heard nothing but great things about mm. it. Um, we got the, my husband got the spinach egg white frittata. I had the avocado toast. Um, the best thing that was ordered was my son got the breakfast pizza. <laughs> that was so winner? good and right. that was the winner and then they had the um my husband had a had a mimosa and i had their caprese bloody mary oh, sweet. which nice. was so good yes that but, was that was great hey tell me did you see there's something in there that, that intrigues me on that menu which is the tiramisu french toast is that on that menu did you notice the, yeah it was right. uh, nobody Nobody wanted to get that. So. All right. I might, you know, we got like 82 geeks the, scheduled the waffles, for that. <laughs> I mean, everything was so good, but I, the standout was the, was the breakfast pizza. How come? I've heard, it, I think I've heard this had, before. 
Well, and, and our waitress, she did a great job of explaining the, the items to us. And I mean, the avocado toast is so much more than just avocado toast. Like it's almost <laughs> like a salad. Like uh, <laughs> it probably yeah. stood like six inches high <laughs> with stuff piled on, on top of it. Wow. I mean, it sounds so simple, but it was, it was really very well prepared and very nice. filling, but the breakfast pizza had like a white sausage gravy as the sauce of the pizza. All right. Scrambled eggs, bacon. And so kind of like, just like a deconstructed, maybe an omelet, but the base of that, yeah. the pizza sauce was the white sausage gravy. And that's really what made it. Yeah. It's a pizza. Mm -hmm. that, and that instead of cool. marinara, you had the white sausage gravy well i love pizza and i like breakfast so i would definitely recommend that everybody he was like stop eating my breakfast <laughs> everybody <laughs> was getting a piece and it's a full pizza size there so i mean it's wow. plenty of shareable yeah. it for sure could be could be shareable um, but cool. that was a great that was a great way to start the day right there but they did not bring back the character dining which nope. you know didn't make or break it but it was it was still a great a great meal great way to such start a great the day. convenient stop on your way to epcot yes. and hit the booths yes. right it, it was literally like five minutes I know. to the gates of epcot from there it's a beautiful walk you know i talk about my walks that boardwalk uh -huh. walk it is between the two that you're talking about along the beach club and yacht club and, and just the sights there. And also even, I love the walk to Hollywood studios. Those are yes. two of my favorite walks in Disney world. Both. I mean, and, and not peaceful. very peaceful, very, and, and not long walks, not terribly now. Okay. We're doing these in, in December, but we had, we had weather in the, in the mid eighties. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, in July, it may be a little different to have to make those walks, <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> they, we, we prefer to walk, like I mentioned earlier, but yeah, we did a deep dive into the countries this year. That was last year. My son really uh, got into that. And this year we wanted to make a concerted effort to explore <laughs> them more, you know, not just walk past, but go in all the nooks and crannies and, you know, try to, uh, experience the countries a little bit more than we have in the past because the kids were a lot more interested in it. I see you but, did the kid cots. What was, yeah, we did the kid cot. Yeah, what was that, um, like? that was that was the first time we'd completed completed that, and it was neat. The kids loved it. They were going through each country trying to figure out where to get your stamp or your sticker. It's like a little passport that you know says that you made it to all the countries, mm. and uh, very cute. Um, but we also combined. <laughs> in our in our travels if you will we we wanted to combine the cookie stroll mm. and saying we got we ate something from each country so right. if they Good. had a cookie there that we needed that might suffice for that country if you if you understand what i'm saying i like what you're doing here yeah it's like a scavenger <laughs> hunt you made up your own yeah and so we i'll, I'll just kind of let me let me look back there and see some of our favorites. Um, so we, I really did like our our snack at Mexico. We had from, and I don't believe this was part of the food festival for for Christmas. I think this is a regular place that they have all the time. But we had the beef tamales and the uh, dulce de leche churros, <laughs> and it was kind of like. I miss kind of like a caramel apple-y type of churro. It's very good. This is the first time in Norway where we, we I've gotten school bread. Okay. <laughs> and we tried that. It was it was good. They're my favorite drink that I had all day there, and I couldn't find the name of it, but it was like a cranberry pomegranate rum frozen drink right there from the Asker House uh, drink stand right there. So yummy. So good. <laughs> <laughs> walked back a couple of times to get another one that sounds good cranberry pomegranate rum frozen drink and they had it to where you could just have it be you know a non-alcoholic drink and that and then if you wanted the rum they would just pour it like on top so yeah um fun for all ages right there <laughs> all right on the top probably that first <laughs> sip uh-huh uh, nothing wrong with that my okay, so for Germany, for example, we didn't get an actual 
meal or snack, but from Germany, we got the Linzer cookie, which was there, which is kind of like a shortbread cookie with jet. It's got like the jelly on the inside. It's two shortbread cookies put together with the raspberry tasting jelly Mm. and like powdered sugar on top. Very good. That was my my favorite cookie. Yeah. And while my husband was standing in line to get that cookie, um, Snow White appeared. And so he texted us because we were looking at the trains and he was like, Snow White's here. <laughs> so, Come on. Princess. She was standing, standing by that little well area that they have over there um, in Germany. And so that was a, a, a good little meet that yeah. we had with her. I'll skip over Japan because that was where we had our our meal you did the dinner there yeah i don't know how you fit it looks like you're eating like this entire this yeah <laughs> like you saved Kurt, it, all. <laughs> it it was pretty tough and and let me just say that we well done we had fish and chips from <laughs> from oh great britain God. and that was right before we had to go eat and you know how big that serving is of fish and chips yeah. right right oh my god <laughs> and so, you're packing it in but there was really nothing else that we could get there that would have counted so oh, oh, we had to get you something oh um, yeah and let me country. tell you my son is a stickler and yeah. so and you know we took we would just take a bite we would get one thing and we'd all kind of taste it just to say we had tasted something but that is a big portion yeah. of fish and chips that they give to you just from the little cart you know what i'm talking about yeah I know and exactly. we just sat on the curb <laughs> right there and ate the the fish and chips as best we could and then I guess if you're if you're ready for it, I'll skip on over to Tepanito, and and that's where we had di- our dinner. So yeah, Tepanito. we surely crossed off Japan on the list. That was <laughs> that's <laughs> that, Tepanito. So that, that is the hibachi, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. And wow. so my kids have grown grown to love hibachi. They that is when we want to go out to dinner here they always choose to go to hibachi. And I had been to the, the to this restaurant one time before as like a high school student. It, it, I, I remember it being very good, very authentic. You know, you could get sushi. It was actually one of the first times I'd ever had sushi. Uh-huh. So, uh, and, and my son is into sushi as well. So he, he wanted to try some, you know, really, really good sushi. And I, I, I would say that it was, it was very, very good uh, you know, we eat Americanized hibachi. I, I think this is very a more authentic experience. And they okay. gave you the udon noodles instead of like the fried rice. They gave uh-huh. you white rice, which <laughs> my kids were a little bummed about. But they, I mean, they still like the white rice. It was just very light and fresh. Like you didn't feel like you were needed to be rolled out of there <laughs> when you, you left. Were, I think they rolled you in. <laughs> yeah, no, we were already. I mean, we. You did when I all say right. we ate something at every country in a matter of like three hours, yeah, <laughs> it was Plus a lot a to breakfast. fit in. <laughs> I was like, you know, Red. I said we're we're close to the, to Epcot. We can come in and get another snack. You know, another day. No, we have to do it all in one day, Mom. I was like. You know, okay. he's right. He's right. Because anytime <laughs> you pass on something, you never end up doing it. You know, that is so true. <laughs> that That is very, very true. So yep. we have, we came and we conquered the countries. Well and done. Proud go wild. Something from every That's country. That's how the geeks do it. Yes. Full stink at the Epcot booth. Yeah, we... This is something Judy and I had talked about eating dinner at Japan. <laughs> Um, yeah. I think we had like a 7.30 reservation so that we would be in the right position for Harmonious oh, and okay. the viewing spot yep. right there. So, uh, you know, it was it worked out beautifully. In yeah, we should respect. do next time, too. If, I know you like, we. you probably heard us say, we really like the other restaurant right there in the same pavilion. Like, you go to Teppanito's down mm-hmm. the hall and the regular Japanese restaurant right there. That's outstanding too. I've heard good things about that. Mm. I just kind of wanted to like, since my kids are so into it here, oh, give them, it. you know, yeah. like a, yeah. a little bit more of an authentic experience, but still have stuff they'll eat. Yeah. I, just, <laughs> I, I hadn't gone to that restaurant forever. I, I did the same way. I've done the, the, the hibachi, but we, 
we've talked about this recently. We've gone a couple times to the regular Japanese restaurant there. It's fantastic. And we've also eaten at the quick service. The quick service that you wind up like through the koi garden pond yeah, area. That's that. that's pretty good too. It's one of my favorite. That's probably my favorite pavilion that I would love to have my backyard look like. <laughs> <laughs> It is beautiful through there. I love the waterfalls. And, and so is China. I mean, I think China's gorgeous too. Mm. And uh, he got the in China. We got we went we went into their. They have a pretty you know expansive little gift shop in there. And he found a bag of spicy crawfish lays, like lays chips. Mm. spicy crawfish oh and it was written in chinese and that is what he decided to get <laughs> well that must be china well that's a louisiana thing crawfish is well, same? and he and we love crawfish i mean we're mississippians and we you get, get too? crawfish yeah. too okay. so that wasn't such a a stretch for him <laughs> but he liked that it was you know written in chinese and that's, yeah, that's, that they would have funny. something like that that he considers more of a southern thing no. But he thought it was neat that um, they they kind of posed it as a Chinese thing on their lays, or that's a regular uh, flavor for them. So <laughs> he likes that. I like the black and white cookie in France. That's good too. That's very one of my very favorites. good. I tell you, and and then the snickerdoodle. I was Ooh, that, that one's that good too. too. <laughs> I've seen that in Canada. And you had scallops there too, and yes, some, some I kind know. of beef thing. I know. That beef thing from Canada that too. Beef. My daughter loved their beef there, and but the favorite, my my daughter's favorite thing at the end of the cookie stroll was the ice cream sundae that they give you for completing. Oh, that's for completing <laughs> it. Yeah. Yes. When you turn in your punch card, they give you an ice cream sundae. And I was like, well, well tell me mm. about, you know, what was your favorite cookie? Well, mom, I think this ice cream sundae is my favorite. Where, said, where, do you, All right. where do you end up? Is there only one place to redeem at the end? Yes, I think so. It w We happen to be at the Yukon Pavilion right there. And apparently it was just uh, to the right of that. If you're looking at the Yukon Pavilion, my, my husband took her to go redeem the card. And, you know, I didn't know, I thought I had heard she got an, another kind of a cookie, but I don't, mm. I don't know. She came back with an ice cream sundae. <laughs> that was, that was a okay with her. <laughs> hey, that's awesome. Good job at Epcot. All right. I see you did one of our favorites, Satuli Canteen. Is that a usual at Animal you Kingdom? Know, no, um, we usually go to Flame Tree Barbecue. Okay. But, you know, if you recall last time, my, my little boy, he loves ribs. Oh. And we did a rank the ribs last time. But I kind of trumped him on that. And I was like, we're going to try this new place. I've heard really good things about it. They have neat food. And so I just kind of made the order for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to try it. And it was great. I love the outdoor pavilion. Their, their little seating area is very nice. And we got... Um, the, my husband and I got one of their bowls. I got a shrimp bowl. He got the chicken. And then the my little girl, I got her the steam bun uh, cheeseburger. Yeah. And then my for my little boy, I got him the hot dog. So it, it, was, it looked like pret, a pretzel hot dog to me, oh, wrapped okay. in pretzel. But it was really more of a softer kind of dough. Mm -hmm. But they they were fine with that mm. <laughs> they, they liked it well, i'm glad you got a chance to try it because it's yeah it's it's different and it's yeah. light and on a hot day midday I, you know i just i i don't prefer to eat something just too too heavy mm -hmm. and it just it was it was the perfect perfect mm. amount perfect um you know we we left full but we we were still raring to go so you we like, didn't need a nap after lunch <laughs> you, like, you like your seafood too i can tell i do you know that which at thus why the hamburger at brown derby <laughs> was such a surprise to me even but yes i do i love shrimp anything seafood shellfish all of it well you can make it up to them by taking them over to the new barbecue place in the american pavilion Oh. We went. We went there oh, last year. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that was that was his yeah. number. That was his number one because mm -hmm. oh. he uh -huh. likes barbecue sauce on the ribs. I, I prefer dry, dry rub ribs. Yeah. 
which we got at uh, the the poor house in what is it the tap house in Disney Springs. Yeah. I can't even City remember Works. the name. City Works, that's right. And I thought they had great ribs, which okay. was kind of surprising. But they had a great rib. But he, my son, preferred the ones in in America with the yeah. barbecue sauce. He really loved those. All right. One last place I think I'm looking on here. One of my favorites, Boma. Boma. What, what I was you pick so excited Boma? about Boma. Had you been so, there before? Okay, so I put it to the geeks. No, I had not been there before. Yay. And so, <laughs> Yay, I'm so I, excited. <laughs> Judy had gotten me a reservation at Yak and Yeti. And, and then I got one for Boma because I, I wasn't sure – if we wanted to stay in park or, you know, venture out, I had none of us had ever been to um, Animal Kingdom Lodge. Mm. And so I wanted to see that that hotel mm -hmm. and show the kids. And they had a phenomenal Christmas tree there in the center. And uh, so I put it to the geeks so like um, two weeks or so before we went. And it was kind of, you know, it's kind of 50 50. Was it? Okay. On, <laughs> on who, you know what to do because i'd never been to yak and yeti either mm. both well yeah they're both good choices but yeah but you know i kind of wanted to i wanted to see animal kingdom lodge mm -hmm. and we carved it. out enough time uh, at the end of our animal kingdom day that we were able to go to go there a little bit early walk around the resorts and then um we went to the victorious falls yep. lounge before our meal and yeah Bema. i mean it it lived up to the hype Yay! for sure um i had no idea how busy how how busy it was <laughs> yeah. it was crowded, um, huh? we may have it was very very crowded i think it, it, i mean it kind of just opened too maybe too oh yeah I, you know you're right it I, it hadn't been open for for very long and i think it was like possibly one of the only buffets i mean i think there kate may may Maybe yeah. open now. We might have made our own little mistake here. We we had the time to explore the the resort, and we were sitting in Victoria's Falls, just kind of chilling out, having a drink. And I just walked down to the hostess desk, and we were about an hour out from our dinner reservation, which was at seven fifty, which would have been a, a later time, maybe not so crowded. And so I said, "Hey, we're here. We're sitting upstairs. If you get an opening, you know, let let me know." Well, they they did, and it was like straight up seven o'clock, so <laughs> high dinner time. Yeah. And we were like just sitting on top of our neighbors. I felt like <laughs> oh, like you okay. could bump elbows, and yeah. it just was very very busy, very crowded. But the food was wonderful. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what are some of the highlights of the Boma well, buffet? Their ribs. I thought their ribs <laughs> oh, were great. Have, you know, I don't think they have ribs every night. So. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, they they had their ribs were fabulous. Oh, your son was happy. Well, it was funny, you know, we, he had eaten so much the day before, <laughs> honestly, all he wanted on the buffet was their spaghetti. Oh, he went for pasta at Boma, huh? Yes. Oh, boy. And all the ribs, pasta yeah. and, and chicken tenders. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was like, really, you have to try some of it. And so he ate like two bites off of one of my ribs. He's like, mom, I just can't do it tonight. I was like, okay, well, I'll eat them for you. But, uh, you know, I just, I honestly, that's been the first buffet I've been to in like two years. Sure. You know, it's just not been a thing <laughs> yes, here I, during I COVID times. <laughs> and so I know. And that's how I prefer to eat is like grazing and yeah, like try a little bit of this, yeah. try a little bit of that. If you don't like it, no mm. big deal. Uh, you have it fully committed. And so I really enjoyed it. I don't think there was one thing that I tasted uh, that I didn't really like. Loved all the soup soups. options. Did you try all the soups? Like a little bit I of did. all? Yeah. Even yeah. the oxtail, which is something that I'd never had. Right. Um, so good. They have and some seafood on that? They didn't have any no? seafood that I recall because I'm sure I would have gotten it. Maybe a salmon. They oh no, they did have they did have some salmon. Yes, I had some of that. They have a seafood soup, I think I'm up fad there. They had a they had like a gumbo mm. type soup that they did. They had, you know, a carving station. They had a 
sa- like a salad area sure. that had a lot of like two scoops and um, you could just kind of make your own salad and then the soup bar and then their desserts. And my husband loved mm. little zebra. <laughs> zebra <laughs> what are they called? Zebra domes. That's it. <laughs> um, I thought they were a tad sweet, okay. but he <laughs> was like, no, he was like, these are, I mean, he ate like three. Oh. <laughs> Did you tell them they're made of elephant poop after? Well, I told him the story behind them, yeah, after, <laughs> after, after he them. De- devoured them. You stinker. But, yeah, they had He didn't they care, had such, huh? He didn't no, care. No, he yeah, didn't. That's a guy thing. Uh, but that, that, was a, that was a great a great choice. I'm glad we got to see Animal Kingdom Lodge because we won't ever stay Good. there, I'm sure. <laughs> and so, but we can say we've been there. They also had this neat little thing that they were like making s'mores and stuff. And so we stopped outside? and we bought a little uh, outside. Uh huh. And oh, they yeah. were, they had a little fire going and they had, uh, you could buy like a little s'mores kit and mm-hmm. they were roasting the s'mores right there. So we stopped, we made s'mores, we sat in some rockers and it was just a nice little, a little pit stop and just like enjoying the resort. And then it started, we, we had absolutely phenomenal weather. I've never been for five days in Florida where we haven't had any rain mm-hmm. and we had zero rain except for the five minutes where we tried to do our <laughs> s'more <laughs> and it just barely drizzled, but it was enough for them to shut down the fire pit. So we kind of had to wrap our, wrap our s'mores, uh, <laughs> section up pretty quickly, but they, that was neat. That was just a fun little, fun little thing that we did. Well, it sounds like you made that the right enjoyed decision. Our time there. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad we did that. Cause you know, we, you can always do the quick service. Yeah. I can yeti too. So, um, I, I would recommend Boma to yeah. anybody. There's, there's something for everybody there. I, I do. I will say that I, I, I think it would have been slightly less crowded if we would have eaten at seven fifty, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Instead I mean, of straight at seven, because it started to clear out like right about the time we were done. But we were kind of like li- literally like on top of our neighbors yeah. on either side of us. So I just, I just did, I'd had no idea how busy that restaurant can be. I mean, I know it's kind of, can be a hard reservation to get, but mm. it was very, very busy at that particular time. <laughs> All right. We got through the food. Well done. You did it in total geek and style. <laughs> I'm, I'm proud of you. You know, I'm I'm actually really proud of the podcast because I heard a lot of the usuals in there, and some of them were the first time for you to go there. So, I'm yes, I know. For, you, the geeks, the geeks don't steer you wrong. Oh, thank you on uh, ADRs. <laughs> yeah, they, they got some good recommendations in our group, right? Oh, yes, listening to you the know, podcast. I have a running. Yeah, I have a running um, <laughs> notes on my phone, like when I'm because I think I've told you this before, but I, I save the podcast for my long runs on mm-hmm. the week. And so a, as I'm listening, I pull up my notes <laughs> app in my phone. And if somebody makes a good recommendation, <laughs> I, I type it out. <laughs> awesome. That is the way to do it. And some, like you said, some of these you hear over and over again. You're like, that's, you know, can't be just that person's No, opinion. no. They're tried and true recommendations. Yeah, and you hit some of the... Geek, geek approved. <laughs> well done. Well, I want to hit some other things, like first times doing things. And I noticed in your notes, you were commenting a little bit, at least on Genie. Genie Plus, did you try the Genie Plus system? Tell me your yes. thoughts. We used it. I just kind of was resigned to the fact that it's the system that they're going to be using, mm. you know, accept it. And here, Disney, here's my money and <laughs> take some of it. And here, take some more because I guess I'm here for Genie yeah. Plus and all it has to offer. <laughs> so what was your strategy then? Oh, that, all that in consideration? Well, and let me say, I mean, I, I was going into this trip, hopefully smarter than the average bear. I really did put a lot of time into trying to understand this new system, trying to figure out how to 
you know, if there were any loopholes, how to, how to work through those, uh, they closed the loopholes that I knew about like a couple of days before we left. So I had to re-strategize, but the way, okay. So we were resigned. We were buying Gen- Genie plus every day for every part, okay. even though I know it was not recommended for some, Okay. the way we wanted to look at Jeannie was we were not going to throw our regular park strategy out the window that we would normally do. We wanted to use Jeannie as a way to ride things a second time without waiting in a terribly long line. Wow. Okay. And so we employed our, our regular park strategy. Like, you know, we are rope droppers and we're state of park clothes. <laughs> and so we, I will say this on our first day to magic kingdom, um, and I've talked with Judy about it. We the, we ran into a little hiccup with our tickets. And I think it was because it was with the Dolphin. Upon check-in, they handed us what what I thought were keys to the world cards. But apparently, and, and we had set up our Magic Dance and we had set up our Magic Mobile beforehand. So mm-hmm. I thought I had two ways to get in. I asked, I was like, do I need these if I have, you know, my Magic Dance, my Magic Mobile? And they were like, probably not, but take them anyway. Okay. So we did, we put them in the backpack. Well, mm-hmm. while I'm trying to do genie plus at six forty five and get us to the boardwalk bus and, uh, mm-hmm. you know, I don't know, just trying to, mani- this is our for- first morning there. Right. So we weren't really sure of how to get to the boardwalk bus stop. We're trying to navigate that. Yeah. I'm on my phone trying to, to make sure I'm getting what I need at 7am. And, uh, my husband forgot the backpack. <laughs> and all that hustle and bustle. So that's like the cardinal sin of forgetting the backpack. Oh, I'll tell you. And so, okay, so I was. I'm usually a very nice person until I do something stupid like that. Well, and so, so we mad. were like, I was like, I was like, we're going to be okay. We, we, yeah. we'll be all right. If we yeah. have to go back for it, we can. We can't, we can't yeah. go back for it right now, though. Okay. But those cards were in the backpack. I was yeah. like, we have all these other ways to get in. We're going to be good. Well, we oh. weren't good. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, your magic bands didn't work? We lit yeah. up blue and they couldn't understand why. Because when we went to customer relations, right. everything was fine. Everything was how it should be. They had three people working on it. They they were really perplexed and on the phone with Disney IT. And all this while, I'm like, early entry, it's ticking away. Yeah. <laughs> and and so, um, but they, they, they figured it out. I think all the while they were looking for the reservation under my husband's name, which was crazy. Oh. I mean, they should have just asked <laughs> us, but then they just reissued those cards and some, whatever they did in the background, it made our magic bands and our magic mobile work fine. And then they gave us a fast pass, you know, for anything, anytime. So, okay. you know, it made up for the time, but that's just, I, it happened. My, I had a friend coming into the dolphin two days after us. And I warned her about that. And the same thing happened to her. Okay. She had the cards with her though. Cause I said, be sure you bring those cards. And that was, oh, good that, tip. They, she still had to go see customer relations, but they use those cards and she didn't have to use them again, nor did I, okay. but I think that was a dolphin glitch possibly. Ah. Like a, a, a just a plan word to B. the wise. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was actually our plan C, but you know, yeah. you, you can't, <laughs> you can't, you I know, guess you can't Disney be too. IT, it's, yeah. it's a good, yeah. here's the I thing. Know. I, know, I know the travel interiors will tell you, and I've said it on the show, have a paper backup too. That shows, oh, they, right. They were looking, I mean, I could see, they could see everything that we yeah. had. Like, I, I, and they were being kind of close mouthed about what, the actual issue was. So I'm not really sure what happened or what they had to do to rectify it, but it, it was fine and all worked out and they made it right by giving us that fast pass. So we kind of chalked it up to it maybe being a dolphin issue talking with Disney, Disney system. So I'm not really sure about that, but we would have gone to, um, Peter Pan first and tried to get on Peter Pan Mm -hmm. in early entry, and, and just kind of toward the, the normal way we would have in those uh, 30 minutes to an hour because you really can kind of squeeze a good hour out of that early entry time before yeah. it becomes, you know, too, too crowded. But that's how we approached Genie Plus. 
do our normal touring strategy where we know what we need to ride early when the lines are low. And then when, and of course we booked a fast pass at 7 a.m. I mean, a lightning lane. I'm going to try to use the correct lingo here. <laughs> Switch over. Lightning lane, right. You know, you have, you had, that was not available to like nine. So you had a good, about by that, by the time we got in, we had about an hour and a half that okay. we could do what we wanted to do based on our own Disney knowledge of what we could, needed to do. Mm-hmm. So we saw some princesses. We rode the carousel. We did some things that we knew we wouldn't get back to and didn't want to use a lightning lane for. Mm-hmm. So that was nice. kind of how we used it. But we found it to work just fine. We had one issue where my daughter didn't tap in on the second tap station on Pirates of the Caribbean, and oh. that kind of messed us up. Oh, <laughs> because uh, they let her through, I guess. And then when I, I'm in the line trying to book my next lightning line, I'm like, I'm not understanding why this says nobody's el- or she's not eligible. And then when we got off Pirates, I stopped and asked. The cast members were really great to answer questions. They were very knowledgeable. I didn't run into, and I wasn't tracking down like, <laughs> ca- like uh, customer service or anything. I was just asking the closest cast member. And they were always so helpful and very knowledgeable about Gene yeah, Plus. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it's the beginning of this program. Yeah. I, I liked the way it worked. Everyone Again, in the party's got to pay attention to what's going on here. I was like, I was like, maybe I was like, you have to turn green. Okay. Because so it will mess us up again. Okay. Especially at the double tap stations. Um, so anyway, that was just again. a little. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can um, we just go on vacation we... and not worry about these things? I know well, it. two crucial I'm things worried. we learned that day is that we can make it a day, a full day without the backpack. Okay. Uh, Which I meticulously packed yeah. two weeks before. Okay. <laughs> and we didn't have time to get a stroll. I was going to get a double stroller just for the, have a place uh-huh. for the kids to sit if it got crowded or whatever. Uh-huh. We didn't use one the whole day uh-huh. and we didn't use one the whole trip. And All I was right. so excited about it. They walked, <laughs> they didn't complain. Nice. So this is like a learning day in magic kingdom. <laughs> we, we made it without the Learned backpack the and we didn't have to have a stroller. <laughs> so we will no longer be needing a stroller in or the Disney backpack. park. And I, really I am lo- not mad about it. <laughs> uh, I'm really a big fan of the little drawstring packs now. Instead of like the full yeah, backpack. Yeah, I mean, each year, what we have to carry gets less and less, <laughs> you know? Yeah, with the kids um, and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, in December, it's a little tricky the, because uh, by the nighttime, depending on the weather, you may need to pack some extra layers, you yeah. know? But especially for us Mississippians that aren't uh. too accustomed to just frigid weather. But um, last year, we did we really did get bundled. This year, we didn't have any need. Okay. But it was... It was really nice weather, but I really, I, I thought Genie Plus, it worked how it said. If you did your research before, I felt like I was well prepared to understand the ins and the outs. It is kind of problematic with, to me, with trying to rope drop and trying to do that at the same time. Like <laughs> you yeah. either have to be like totally ready to, to go like that particular magic kingdom morning, there wasn't like a window for me to like sit down and do that. Cause I was afraid, well, what if I get on the bus and it's not, okay, you know, I don't yeah. have great service or we go through an air, you know, it was just kind of, it, it falls at a bad time for when the parks were opening for early entry for, for us. It was like, you were trying to leave and trying to do the genie plus at the same time at 7 a.m. Sign up for it. You mean? Then, but you well, try to get your first lightning lane okay, at 7 a.m. Okay. I got mm-hmm. you. Yep. Yes. And, and I would give uh, the advice that I learned d- during the research through various things was you try to get like for Magic Kingdom. I think it was like, a you know, if you want Peter, Peter Pan, Jungle Cruise or Pirates were good ones to try to get first off. Mm-hmm. And then if you wanted to do your paid lightning lanes, go ahead and book, book that right at seven, two. Okay. So, um, but try, and especially for like when it came to slinky dog in Hollywood studios, mm-hmm. book that one. I'm talking Glenn Kessler method <laughs> way with your best mm-hmm. phone and the world clock and all that stuff at 7am. Really? Even for the genie plus the pay for it. 
to get Slinky Dog for the lightning lane. Now, you, you're of course, that one's not an individual lightning lane where you pay for it, oh, okay. but just to get that regular lightning lane. Oh, wow. Yeah. Gotcha. Because it, yeah, it sells out. And you don't want it. Yes. And it gets into, if you don't get it early enough, the 120 minute rule can come back to bite you later to where you can't book another one till you've used that one. So okay. it, it's better if you can, the earliest times you can get the real hot, it's ones. better because then yep. you can start to, you know, book after, after you've used them. Interesting. But it is definitely, and I heard many of the commentators and bloggers say this, it's a lot easier in practice than it is to try to explain it. <laughs> um, okay. Good to know. <laughs> So, I, I mean, I didn't have much, I didn't run into many technical issues with the app. Uh, it worked like how they, how they said it would. And uh, except for that minor issue, which it didn't take my daughter out of the, yeah out of the running when she didn't, didn't tap. Um, at that well, she'll second. never do that again. No, right? <laughs> no, we made that very clear. <laughs> oh my we were gosh. Like, it cracks um, me but up. I will tell you this with using them, it really did. I mean, we, the, the, you, you remember with fast, fast pass, I feel like you could have had a thir- they would have a 30 minute wait time posted or, you know, there was still a wait. Uh-huh. Yeah. I felt like with lightning lane and I just don't know if not everybody was using it Might be. or yeah, could be because no whatnot, but we didn't have any wait like you would get your lightning lane time you would go and you would just walk I, on the ride there was yeah. very maybe three to five minutes wow okay um, cool. yeah That's good. i mean so it 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 worked i mean it worked very well but and and we pay we paid for mine train and we paid we didn't even have to but we paid for um uh, space mountain. Okay. I mean, we could have stood in a 25 minute line, but we were just ready to move on to the next thing. So we, we paid for it. Sounds like you did a lot of rides with this system. Oh yes. We, we if there or was twice. a lightning lane for it, nice. we, we you, tried you to get it on out. it. We did. I oh, mean, you, you. You're, you're paying for it now. So yes, use it. Answers my, use it. I usually question, <laughs> what did you splurge on? <laughs> Genie plus. <laughs> Any plus. And the castle um, meal. You know, yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> what did we splurge on? You know, to me, just to me, we don't just go out and eat, you know, $200, $300 meals mm. in our regular daily <laughs> life. So to me, most of the sit down meals to me are a bit of a splurge, yeah, especially with that. Cinderella's ca- castle. There were, <laughs> to me, this is a splurge. Now, my kids will joke and they'll say, when we're on vacation with daddy, the answer is always yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so as we were walking yeah. past yeah, uh, that's a, that's a good the attitude. boardwalk at, at some of the, uh, at some of those, uh, what do you call them? Like fair games where you can like throw the basketball yeah. and win a prize. Yeah. So my son wanted to do that. And it, uh, I, I think it was $20 a time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he what? did it twice. Wow. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and he said, I want to win my sister a basketball. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay. And mm-hmm. then I was, I was like, let's go. And here's my husband paying for him to, to do the, the basketball game. Did he win? And, um, he did, he oh, won thank he, God and, for that. and he did let his sister choose the basketball. And uh-huh. that, that was actually very sweet of oh, him. That and was a good, yeah. Good yeah. Memory. I mean, it was actually one of my, one of, I mean, it was actually really sweet in the moment. Like he's like, Oh, I want to win my sister a basketball. Right. And I'm like, come on, we're walking back to the hotel. <laughs> <Here's> <laughs> my husband's like la- lagging in the back, like letting him do it. <laughs> um, but he did, he won, he won the first time he didn't win the second time he tried, but uh, you know, that was kind of fun. And we still have, have the ball. And here I am thinking, where is this going to go in our luggage? Like <laughs> <laughs> we're getting this basketball. Home. <laughs> I know. Getting on the but plane that to some- me was, that was kind of a splurge. That's yes, right. <laughs> the carnival games on the boardwalk. <laughs> They'll get you. Know, you. <laughs> one of the questions I, I'm, I've actually added that I haven't had before, and I really should have put it right up front, was what was kind of your, your goal for this trip? What was 
some of your must do's? Did you have something you really wanted to accomplish or everybody in your family wanted? To- yeah. Well, I, I kind of touched on it a little bit with our, uh, our Epcot adventure with eating the foods, we really did just want to carve out some time during daylight hours <laughs> where we could uh, really just take our time and walk and walk through all the country pavilions. And yeah. we did that this time. And uh, it, you know, it was just, it was really nice to kind of take it slow. We hit it hard earlier in the day. And then, you know, we started, we did it in order. We started at Mexico and we, Read three, ride, rode the ride of three caballeros, and we, you know, we just took it from there, and it was really fun. And we all saw things in the countries that we had never even mm. noticed before. My husband had no idea that that big waterfall was in Canada. He was like, "I had no idea this uh-huh. is even back there." Yeah. And yeah. and my son and I had been. Uh, the year before we kind of explored in there, but my husband didn't make it back. Mm. I mean, you can just, you can so easily just walk past yep. on the main drag and mm. not even know what all is back there. One of my favorites is Morocco. I mm. think it's just really neat. They had a photographer set up in there and we got some great pictures and like nobody even knew he was out there. So that I really enjoyed that. That was one of the things that we talked about, like, and I think I, I posted, I know I posted it to the, to the Facebook page, but we couldn't talk about this trip beforehand because it was a surprise to my kids for two reasons. I didn't want anything to happen if we got sick or we couldn't go, or I didn't want to hear, you know, mom, how many days to Disney? When is Disney coming up? Mom, 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 when is Disney? You know, that oh, for that's right. you know, you guys- two months. So we picked him up from school yeah. a little bit early on the day we left. We flew out at five thirty. So I picked him up from school around two and we brought him into the house and had their Mickey Mouse suitcases packed and all that stuff in the living room. And then they kind of figured it out. Yeah. But, so, and that's so I forgot that about was that. really fun. You posted the video. I, yeah, I did. And so I I I mean that was really fun that we were able to pull off that huge surprise. Mm. Cause they had been asking like, are we going to go back to Disney this year? Are we doing this? I was like, no, we went last year. Gosh, you know, <laughs> and, uh, and kn- knowing that I had this up my sleeve. And so the fact that we were able to do a true surprise, that was fun, <laughs> but we didn't have much time to kind of get their input on things. I okay. just kind of knew, you know, that, that we wanted to focus a lot on taking our time through the, through the countries this time. So we did that. And I think we, we did it as best we could, <laughs> trying the fair, food fair and <laughs> all that they had to offer. That was a great video, right? Yeah, it was fun. It great. was fun. Ah, uh, that's, that was, yeah, they were so excited. So excited. So, um, so they, I think when I talked with my son's teacher after we got back, cause they helped me with the, with the secret as well, because they had to, he had to do some work ahead so that he could make up what he missed. And so they said, when he came back from Christmas break, they said, all, all he could say was, thank you so much for keeping that secret from me. <laughs> <laughs> Did he? Okay. <laughs> Nice. So he was, he was kind of, he thought it was so fun how many people knew about it and kept it from him and all that stuff. So anyway, it's fun. I love a true surprise and I was able to get a, get a surprise over him. But, um, that was one of our goals. I think I was, I had really high hopes for the dolphin. I was hoping that my husband would like it. Um, art of animation wasn't really his jam. Okay. I mean, he, he liked the Skyliner access and he liked, and that was the last place we had stayed. Um, but I, I thought this was going to be more his speed and he, re- he, he ended up really loving it. So that was, that was nice to, to know that he enjoyed that hotel so much. So those were two, two big things that. Any other that stories were- from this trip? You already gave me a bunch in there. <laughs> Well, um, let's see. We talked about Genie Plus. Well, yes. Okay, so when I was thinking about this, talking to you as we were on the trip, there was like something from each person in my family that I kind of wanted to, you know, what what was their moment? Like, what was their... Oh, yes. That you is know, our what friend Wendy they... Fox's question. What is... Yeah. What is that one moment that will stay with you from this trip? Yeah, she asked everyone in her family. Exactly. Like, um, the, 
the standout thing for, for each person. So perfect for, um, for Mabry, my little girl, she kind of got out of her, her comfort zone a little bit. She's not very, she's not a thrill seeker, mm-hmm. but it was fun. She, we convinced her, we convinced her because we paid for you to go on mine train <laughs> <laughs> and you're going, she's never been out before. <laughs> no. <laughs> and, and she had seen it go by a couple of times and she's like, no, that's not for me. I was like, it's not so bad. It's very smooth. It's not like big thunder, which she had been on before. Oh, so okay. so she a perfect rode, ride for her age, actually. Yeah. She rode mine train and she loved the end scene where she sees so white and all yeah. that dancing with the dwarf. So that was fun. Um, she did splash mountain for first and we oh, got wow. to ride that two times actually. And so that it was kind of fun to see her a write a passage. Yeah, to the, like kind of feel her right? way through some rides and actually like enjoy them and not be scared to death. Yeah. Tower of Terror. <laughs> no, we didn't. No, <laughs> we're, we're not there nobody, yet. Nobody, no That's, one in our family oh. did that this time. For one, it was very hard to get a lightning lane. Oh, it. really? Wow. Mm-hmm. So okay. we kind of just were like, eh, That's crazy. okay, that's our excuse. <laughs> chickens. <laughs> Bunch of chickens. <laughs> yeah. But um we also with her, she got into the pins. Oh, okay. And yeah. I'm going to call her a pin collector mm. because when I explained to her pin trading, that was like blasphemy to her. She was like, <laughs> Why would you give your pin away to get somebody else's? <laughs> and I was I said, Well, you know, sometimes they're rare ones or they're not being made anymore, you know, that kind of thing. And she was like, I'm not giving my pins away. I, and I so, think the <laughs> cast members during this time have some pretty good pins too. So what well, you can tell her just you know, go on eBay or somewhere and get a whole bunch of pins you don't really care about, and then and, trade and those. trade those. So okay. you're actually trading. Well, I'm new to the, I'm new to the pin trading yeah. thing, but I can see how it can be an expensive habit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, try to get some good bulk pin buys. Okay, on that, the internet. that that's helpful because she was not she was not that's wanting to, to give up the pins that she had just bought no, to that, try yeah. to get others. No, she's right so. about that. What, yeah. What we do is we get some, you know, if you had duplicates, but I mean, basically get a good lot of cheaper pins mm-hmm. and then use those to trade with the cast members. Trade them with the cast members. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's a good tip. I'll, I'll All tell right. her that's what we need to do to prepare for our next trip. So with my son Ridley, you know, exploring the countries that, and, and it was his idea to try to get a snack or somewhere yep. or some kind of food item from did each a great one. Job. Yep. So he, and he completed his mission and he really was into the kid cot thing. So he did that. And we talked about the, uh, he was very proud of making the basket at the boardwalk. Yeah. So even though that was a splurge, give yeah. up his ribs at Regal Eagle <laughs> for all that other, <laughs> for all the snacking, all the other snacking. And all this country exploring. And my husband, okay, my husband's moment, I feel like, was harmonious. It has been a long time since we have seen Disney fireworks for several reasons. When our kids were young, they just couldn't make it. You know, they were... Mm -hmm. And we would... You guys ran ragged. They were just kind of... (laughs) Yeah, I mean, they were just kind of done and... You know, we just didn't want that fight on our hands. And so, and then the last couple of times we've been, they haven't really had them in their full Disney, Disney way. And I was intimidated with the crowd on our magic kingdom day. And so we did not stay for, Mm -hmm. um, the new fireworks show in magic kingdom, but for harmonious, that's, that's the one I really wanted to see too. And we had our dinner in Japan and we came out, we were done about eight thirty, and we were able to just walk right up to the, to the fence right there at the, the Japan pavilion. And, and I would tell others this, there was, there were many people, you don't have to eat at the restaurant to just go up to where the restaurant is on that mm. elevated porch yep. area and stay in there. That's a great viewing area as well. Great. Um, we got right on the fence and maybe had to sit there for like 45 minutes. Mm. Okay. It, it that I was fine with that, and but there was still not like you would have to like fight somebody for your spot. Good. But that spot was a great one. It, I will wow. say you 
Awesome. You do need to see that middle piece mm. of the Stargate, or I think that's what it's called. Yeah. But, yeah. My, and I had seen videos of it, uh, you know, on, on the blogs and things, but my husband, he, you know, he didn't follow any of this. And mm. so he was like, the whole show, he was like, this is amazing. <laughs> Great. I can't believe this. <laughs> And he was like, do they do this every night? <laughs> I no, mean, no. his, his I agree eyes with them. were so wide. He yeah, was like, cool. and I was like, can you believe that people are actually very critical <laughs> of this show at some point? <laughs> and he was like, no. He was like, that was absolutely amazing. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it is. Like I mean, it it's is true. visually, it is yeah. a visually stunning show. I understand some of the criticisms about, about how be, it's not a cohesive story, mm-hmm. but put that to the side and just watch the show. I yeah. mean, and I, I was very impressed. He was just mouth wide open watching it. Awesome. Could not believe I love that. that they, and my favorite was like, do they do this every night? <laughs> I'm not laughing at him at all because I feel the same way. I mean, well, I mean, I was, I, I, I mean, he just was stunned. I mean, and 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 it has been. I mean, we in my recent. I mean, probably it's been 15 years since I've seen oh, okay. a, yeah. a Disney fireworks wow. show. Okay. Wow, yeah. So yes, I mean that come a long way. And <laughs> anyway, he he just really he just really that was a surprise. He didn't know what to expect. He didn't know cool. why I was making this dinner reservation to get this good viewing spot and all this stuff. And he was like, you're right. This is the perfect spot. This is, I mean, we timed it all perfect. Perfect. You know, he was just like, this is just amazing. He's like, I cannot believe. Is, is he amazed by your planning? Is he amazed by how much, you know, and. Yes. And, and we all had, we had, a, I'll get to my last little, little, my, maybe my moment. Yes. Um, let's hear but, your moment. You know, the, this, the swan and the dolphin has such, you know, the architecture is what it is. You're either a fan or you're not. I think I, thought it's it was, I was blown away. Yeah, it's it's grand is the word. And so the whole the whole time we were there, I was like, we got to get a picture by the fountain. We got to get a picture, and we really didn't have time because we we're always scurrying off to rope drop uh-huh. in the morning. And so the morning that we were leaving, we had we did we weren't getting picked up till like ten thirty. So I was like, I, the one thing I want to do this morning is go down to the front of the hotel, get a picture by the big fountain, you know, the whole thing. And so I kind of pulled the kids aside and I was like, we're going to tell daddy, thank you, you know, because I'm a stay at home mom and daddy works very hard to Mm -hmm. make sure that we can go on a trip like this. And so, um, you know, we got down there, we took the pictures and we, and standing in front of the hotel, you know, we, we thanked him for that. And then he was like, Well, and it, and it was so nice. He's like, that all may be true. He's like, but none of this would be possible if your mama didn't plan this and research this and make it the trip that it was because she just tells us where to be and what to do and (laughs) how to do it. It's nice. He appreciated that. It it was, it was a nice moment. Yeah. We had a group hug right there in front of the, the fountain. So it was a beautiful way to close out the trip. So, oh my gosh. Um, I'm a little teared was, up. That was my nice moment. Job. <laughs> that was your moment. Yeah. That was, yeah. But, well, you, I know you enjoy being a part of our group and, and, and being a member and helping us out and, and uh, you know, it all paid off. It all pays off in the end when you, like you said, if it weren't for your research and all the things that you knew, all the little tips it makes a difference for a successful. Oh, it, it totally trip. makes a difference. You still see people like oh at God. some of the quick service like that said, don't know how to mobile order and all that. Frustrations I mean, that are going through. It's so technical to go now. Yeah. And, and, and on one hand, you know, it's like, should it really be this technical to have to take a Disney We've, vacation? We understand. But <laughs> You know, it is, and you just have to embrace it. And I did want to give a, another, a little shout out to, to Glenn again, because I got a 12 boarding group for Remy, oh. but I think yesterday was the last day of the queue for Remy, the oh, January yes. 10th, I think might've You're been the to, last yeah. day for it. So no more boarding passes. Yeah. Right. So no more. Number key, 12. Key. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I, I was chatting with Glenn and I got a little, ongoing chat all the time in facebook and mm-hmm. I, 
I always tell him like I'm editing a podcast. Well, Glenn, you got another shout out. So there you go. <laughs> No, he he's he's, he's got a he's running record going on. Short on shout outs. He get, <laughs> he gets one pretty much every uh every episode. I, I'd cool. like to shout out to Tony Ante though. She gave me some good tips about staying at the dolphin. Uh-huh. Um we just did a private message together through Facebook, but she gave me some good information. You know, it's always kind of when you don't know the logistics or the layout uh-huh. of a hotel and to try to feel it out oh, on okay. the first days and things like that. So that was very, that was very helpful too. I could have told you too. (laughs) I didn't know you had been there. (laughs) Yeah. That's my first. Yeah. That's why I started with Disney world, the dolphin and swan. And I believe they had been recently like renovated. The rooms had been renovated. Cool. Mm -hmm. It looked pretty, pretty new. So, well, I, is there anything else? I think we cover a lot. No, I think those are good. Good notes to end on. Fantastic trip report. Well done. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. I love to talk Disney. (laughs) A (laughs) Southern lady that doesn't like to talk. I'd be surprised. Right. I I, I was going to, I'm, I'm my friends and family's (laughs) official, unofficial Disney planner. (laughs) And a shout out to the traveling Tierras too. People are always like, you know, so much about Disney why don't you be a Disney planner? And I'm like, well, first of all, you have no idea (laughs) the time and the energy and the odd hours that it goes into to doing that. And, you know, with young kids, I just don't, I can't be on the phone for four hours at a time or longer or booking reservations first thing at 5 a.m., 6 o'clock in the morning when I'm trying to get my kids off to school. I mean, I don't, know that people truly understand, you know, all that they do. And so, I mean, they were just fabulous to work with and I'm just, I'm happy I got to work with them. I'll work with them in the future and recommend them to others. It was, uh, really nice. You're so fantastic. And you're one of my Patreon supporters and I thank you for that. Yeah, you're welcome. It's so awesome. Anytime you want to do a trip report, you got a spot. (laughs) Well, great. I- you know, I'll, I'll be coming to you. <laughs> <What's your laughs> I don't trip? have another trip oh, okay. on the books just yet. So, well, you know, we'll have to have to look to next year. And I, 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 I wish I could be packed away in somebody's suitcase for G3. <laughs> I wish you were too. We're getting excited. And yeah, it's, uh, I think you would, again, when you, if you ever get a chance for still doing it. <laughs> yeah. I think you'll still be doing it. I don't know. We'll see. It'll only get bigger. (laughs) This one's going to be pretty epic. I'm, I'm, I'm really feeling it, but yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Stay in touch. All right, Marissa. I will. Okay. Bye. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Great job, Marissa. No surprise. Our Patreon supporters, they are just so awesome. Thank you so much for your support. And, if you are one of our Patreon supporters or even a client with the travel in Tierras, you know, I'd love to have you be a guest on our show. Don't hesitate to reach out to me. It can be my way of thanking you for your support. And you're some of my best guests that come on the show like Marissa. So thank you so much. Look at patreon.com slash geeking on WW. If you'd like to make a contribution to the show, you could do it on a monthly basis or annual. And I also put out live recordings that I've Recorded down at the Grand Geek Gathering. I've got a cool one that just came out this past week. I call it Inner Circle 101. I was at the Animal Kingdom having a, a drink with Kevin Curtis Allen and Deirdre and Deborah. And then I went on a coffee walk Friday morning. I was at Pop Century. So more of my geeks joined up with me waiting for the bus, like Deirdre and Kate Merrill talking about Boma. Janet Braverman joins us, Holly Fitch. So... All my friends that were staying at the Pop Century, and I get them recorded, and I recorded that out on the Inner Circle 101. It's a bonus podcast you can get only by being a Patreon supporter. So go out to patreon.com, support the show. I really appreciate you guys that do that. Got some more great episodes coming. I also put my Zoom calls on Wednesdays if you want to hear all that chatter, <laughs> the geeks, and all the planning that's going on for the next Grand Geek Gathering. And always talking about fun things that are happening at Disney World with that crew. Oh my gosh. And I got a surprise yesterday in the mail. Always fun getting things in the mail from my listeners. And this time 
I nearly peed myself laughing. Samantha and Rebecca, thank you for the pillow and the compromising photograph that was on the pillow. I don't know how, how or where you got that picture onto a pillow, but <laughs> absolutely hysterical. Thank you, Samantha and Rebecca. We'll be seeing you in New York City come here at the end of the month. If you're going to be in New York City on the weekend, the last weekend of March, let me know because that's where I'm going to be. I'm going to see these two. Wendy and her husband are going to be there. Trey Nolan is also going to be there. Really cool. Trey is flying in to see us too. We're going to the Aladdin Broadway show and also a, a concert at the Beacon. So I'm excited for that too. Thank you, Samantha and Rebecca. That was awesome. Samantha wants me to keep reminding everyone there's a trip coming up in April, a mini geek meet. Well, the, um, I don't know how many it is. I know there's like 20 of them going. So if you're interested in that, get a hold of Samantha. Let her know you're going to be down there in April during that week that they're going to be there. So you're never alone if you're in this community and you want to go down with some friends down to Disney World. How about that introduction from Catherine Fruit? Oh my gosh, Catherine. Beautiful voice. I love that talent. Fantastic. Now, you don't have to sing as, as good as Catherine. I know I don't, but if you'd like to do an introduction for me, I would love it if you do that. I love getting those. They're fun. Tell us your name, where you're from, some fun Disney World facts about yourself. Hey, it's pretty cool that she's been a listener for over two years. First time I heard from her. So, Catherine, that's awesome. I love hearing from you guys that have never reached out to us. Just tell us about yourself. You go geeking on Walt Disney World with Curtis and the whole geeking family. And then you hear yourself on the podcast one of these weeks. As always, thank you everyone who's booking with Mom and Judy for their Disney World trips, Disneyland, and how about that Star Cruiser <laughs> or, or even the cruises. Thank you so much everyone who books with Mom and Judy because we are committed to helping you enjoy your Disney World vacations. Just reach out to us. If you'd like to do a trip report, book a trip with us. You can reach out to me, Kurt.Stone at geekingonwdw.com. And don't forget, look in that show notes. I post those emails on that podcast app. You're listening to the show right now. Thanks for going geeking on Walt Disney World with us. We really appreciate you listening and geeking with us every single day. We love you, geeks. Have a magical day. And I hope all your dreams come true.